Hi, myself Mr. Ajit Joss, a teacher in English language and a speaker on motivational and educational topics. For today, let's learn the difference between rot learning and conceptual learning. Let's go with rot learning. A rote learning means we, we are just learning without really understanding what we learn. Okay, by just uh, by memorizing or by writing. So there are also different ways to memorize the things, right? So we don't really understand it. Okay. But whereas uh, the conceptual learning method that which means we can say it's a practical learning or learning with understanding okay we analyze the topic what we are learning so it is very deep okay so one like uh, for this so not all people are good in uh, conceptual learning because for this we need the ability to grasp things so we need to raise more questions regarding the topic or maybe we have to make more experiments we have to make more uh, research work okay so we have to put more uh, effort or more love for our learning okay then it is really possible we may find in the road learning Students uh, making sometimes students are making more efforts. You find maybe especially a uh, few days before the examinations, students uh, some students are uh, just walking and by hurting things. Some students they sit and uh, keep on writing things the same things so many times in order to memorize. Uh, like uh, some students they close their eyes, then they just uh, remember what they have learned, learned, learned what is always. So what happens maybe during examinations, okay, mm, they may not get it, okay, they, at the right time, they may not get, okay, if they have really uh, by heart it, taking more effort, they may not forget it, okay, so it is simply the storage of data in brain, okay, they don't understand beyond a limit something or that they know or they have learned something but not something beyond not the real way of understanding okay so like um, the disadvantages of uh, road learning we can say like uh, it's more uh, repetitive right so some people uh, they get after see nowadays especially children when they read maybe after if they if we ask them to read uh, more times they get bored they may not uh, uh, perceive the reading words right so like it is a uh, boring something like uh, it's it's more repetitive we forget the things learned already sometimes no we are not sure so we have made a lot of effort and by heart but we are not sure even uh, one who takes examination is also not sure whether we he would uh, get it at the right time okay and um, not so much skills are required, right? You see, maybe in the school, for example, let us take a, an example of a student in the school. What he really uh, does, not understanding anything, but he is only worried about uh, taking the notes, okay? Directly or maybe from the from 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 friend's book or someone's book, he just copy or maybe the photocopy of the notes and he starts reading, 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 reading. Okay, that's all about it. Uh, or out learning right but we cannot say like we cannot simply uh, neglect the you know, road learning because it has also it also has some uh, advantages okay because there are some areas of learning wherein we require this uh, road learning example uh, like um, memorizing some uh, basic facts facts okay but like memorizing the periodic table in chemistry okay the multiplication table in mathematics okay some formulas in mathematics okay 
Mm, even in English grammar, when you learn tense also, for each tense it has also a formula, right? The tense structure is there. That is also, it is also better to memorize. The advantage is, advantage is, we don't have to wait for one or two minutes, right? If you really by heart it, we just, uh, we just think about the topic, we get it. Because by repeating many, many times. Okay, so immediately it comes to our mind. So it has also it also has this um, advantages. But make sure uh, it's only a supportive. It has to be used only as a support to have the conceptual learning. So don't focus more on a uh, this one um, road learning. Okay, but. We can't apply with all the children the same thing, but it will it will take time. I can say, but we can apply with children, but uh, uh, more, it is very easy to go with the rot learning, right? But we can uh, conceptual learning. We can't apply with all the children, but it will take time. Okay. See, this conceptual learning also has some uh, disadvantages, right? They are like. Uh, more understanding and uh, creative skills are required then uh, it's a difficulty for all the students see let us take the students of um, such having the below average understanding is a uh, their below average level for them it would be very dis difficult to grasp the things but then let's also talk about the advantages of um, uh, the concept learning it's more practical Okay, it's more practical and it's uh, it imparts uh, knowledge. It may take uh, it may take some uh, time. It may take some time to learn because you know that uh, how they are learning. They have to make all the make more questions. They have to think about the topic. They have uh, just read and uh, they have to make some uh, experiments. For example, now for a, like um, for example, let us take this one uh, gravitational force right so like uh, the, see the difference uh, one who uh, one who stands one who promotes uh, this uh, road learning he may just read maybe some uh, 10 or 20 or maybe 50 times also to by heart but one who goes with the conceptual learning he will make some experiment regarding this topic maybe he may draw okay he may make something some uh, materials with some materials he will do or he will uh, uh, go to the um, maybe roof of a building and uh, he may put down something then uh, why it is coming down some question may, there may be many questions okay so topic will be connected with other topics also like one one is connected with everything is linked right maybe it is not only about this one a gravitational force will be linked with the other forces also okay like uh, this but then uh, after all after studying what's the difference okay other one he studied only to uh, only to get some marks but this one is very practical okay very practical in life just to consider the present situations okay so who would be benefiting more in the future okay we can know especially now nowadays the birds earlier it was somewhat okay nowadays in order to get into a job to develop our career we need to be more practical that means one who goes with the conceptual learning he is developing this uh, practical knowledge about the topic so he may not forget the things even if he is not able to review or uh, read many times just before the examinations he would i'm sure he would pass the examination whereas other student if he is not re uh, like uh, revising or uh, like memorizing again just before the examination there is more possibility for him to forget okay in the future i mean those who really aspire to have a good future to become someone in the future let them go with the conceptual learning method and use the road learning method only to support the conceptual learning method the practical and the meaningful learning method and the teachers we may find it difficult in the beginning you know, to or oh, when we deal with the students oh it is very difficult let him let him buy it so instead of thinking so like uh, let us it may uh, it may take uh, more effort it may require more effort from the part of teacher also right so 
like uh, let us slice the topic into small small uh, parts uh, like uh, just in accordance in accordance with the nature of the student okay we have to teach him and let us make it more interesting doing some activities more uh, like uh, practical works then it will work out that's why uh, from my side as a teacher I would say that it is uh, possible with almost all children this is a conceptual learning method but in order to get into it we need we need uh, some efforts okay and the, some of the concerned persons the teachers need to make some efforts in the beginning when it is possible and uh, the parents who uh, watch this video and the students uh, who watch this video please uh, be sure to have the, be sure to promote to how this conceptual learning method someone might have told you oh my god it's not possible with my child or the child my himself will think that oh, it is not possible with me don't think like that be positive it is possible with me okay this is possible with almost all children except some strange cases right and in the all the initial effort once the child is in this track of uh, having this kind of learning method uh, like methodology or learning method in the later even without the help of uh, the concerned people the child will be developing so many things he will be very creative in life he will become someone in life so our uh, um, society will have many more fruitful people more productive people okay and uh, thanks for watching and i will be coming with another video and those who have not uh, not uh, subscribed to my videos yet i ask you to subscribe now by clicking on the bell button okay bye have a good day